this video, we're going to show you how to do a credentialed scan in Nessus. I've already scanned it in Nessus. I'm going to click on Create a New Scan. And I'm going to click on Basic Network Scan. I need to give the scan a name. And I want to give it a description as well. I need to give it a target range. It can be IP address, IPv4, IPv6. It could be individual IPs, CIDR blocks or ranges, also host names. I'm going to go ahead and put in an IP range here. I can also upload a file. There are a variety of different options that are available here. I'll leave them to you to explore them. I'm going to set the schedule. And here under credentials, I'm going to add my credentials. I'm going to start with a set of Windows credentials. I support username and password, LMHash, NTLMHash, Kerberos. We'll do password. I need to make sure these credentials, they're a member of the local admin group in the host that I'm scanning. I can turn on remote registry service if I need to turn that on. And I can also turn on administrative shares if necessary. I'm going to click on SSH. I can do key pair, username, or password, certificate, or Kerberos. So we're going to do password. These, again, need to be administrative credentials. Um, the root or someone in the wheel group will work. We do there. We can also do privilege elevation using a variety of different options. I've now put everything in. I'm going to click on Save, and you'll see my scan is here. Now I'm going to click on Launch here on the right-hand side. I'm going to click on the scan. And you see that our scan is now running and it'll be done in a few minutes. Okay, our scan has been running a little bit. You'll see here we're starting to see vulnerabilities right here, right there. And you'll notice here that it's also showing what percentage complete we've got for each individual host. So this one's 12% done, these are 4% done, and that one's 0% done. Okay, our scan is finished. You'll see here that we've now got six hosts in our environment. And we've got vulnerability counts over here in the status that says completed. We can click on vulnerabilities. We have our vulnerabilities organized by category. So you see here we've got Windows, Firefox, so on and so forth. We can go on remediations, and these are the recommended remediation activities. So Firefox would be our number one patch if we had to make a choice.